Hey guys, today I'll be watching Doctor Who, Classic Who, that would be Season 1, Episode 1, Part 1, uh, An Unearthly Child. So I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, remember, if you want the full, uncut, unedited reaction, you can head over to Patreon. And if you don't, it will just be here on YouTube, just heavily edited. Uh, let's have a go then. <clears throat> This was sort of like how it started in the 50th anniversary. Unearthly Child. School, that was also on the 50th anniversary, wasn't it? And it's also school then, Clara, or Clara, depending on where you're from, worked. Not gone yet. Obviously not. Well, ask a silly question. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'll forgive you this time. Oh, I had a terrible day. I don't know what to make of it. Oh, what's the trouble? Can I help? Oh, it's one of the girls, Susan Foreman. Susan Foreman? Oh, <laughs> she your problem too? Yes. And you don't know what to make of her? No. How old is she, Barbara? Fifteen. Fifteen. She lets her knowledge out a bit at a time so as not to embarrass me. That's what I feel about her. She knows more science than I'll ever know. She's a genius. That is that what she's doing with this thing? <coughs> Something like that. So your problem is whether to stay in business or hand over the class to her. Point blank. No, I thought we could drive there, wait till she arrives and see where she goes. Oh, all right. It's a bit weird well, having, like, two school <laughs> teachers you. following a student. <laughs> coming in. Aren't they fabulous? Who? It's John Smith and the Commonman. They've gone from 19 to 2. <laughs> John Smith is the stage name of the Honourable Aubrey Waits. He started his career as Chris Waits and the Callows, didn't he, Susan? Well, you are surprising, Mr. Chesterton. I wouldn't expect you to know things like that. I have an inquiry Mr. Mind. Chesterton. And a very oh, sensitive ear. Ian Chesterton. Oh, I'm sorry. In the 50th Thank anniversary, you. said he was board of directors. Yes. Thank you very much. <clears throat> it will be interesting. I'll return it tomorrow. Oh, that's not necessary. Keep it until you've finished it. I'll have finished it. Oh, I haven't got any. Oh, never mind. Susan. 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 You'd think they only have to call Susan. once and she'd hear it. In a Susan. confined space like that. Mr. Chesterton and Miss Wright. <laughs> It's a police box. What on earth is he doing here? I mean, these things are usually on the it's street. That... Oh, feel it. Feel it, you feel it? It's a faint vibration. 
It's alive. Pretty close to the truth, eh? It's funny to see the camera work. Connect you to anything, unless it's through the floor. Look, I've had enough. Let's go and find a policeman. A policeman? <laughs> Nevertheless, we're going to find one. <laughs> Come on, Barbara. What are you doing out there? She is in there. Who's the dog? Don't. Barbara, what do you like? Wow, it actually doesn't look all that different. Uh, I guess it does look different, but, you know, even the, the console. I believe these people are known to you. They're two of my school teachers. What are you doing here? Where are we? They must have followed you. That particular school. I knew something like this would happen if we stayed in one place too long. But why should they follow me? Is this really where you live, Susan? Yes. And what's wrong with it? But it was just a telephone box. Perhaps. And this is your grandfather? Yes. Well, why didn't you tell us that? I don't discuss my private life with strangers. But it was a police telephone box. Yeah. I walked all round it. But I actually really you do. don't deserve any explanations. Like, you pushed your way it, in here. And it, which the, was this, uh, explaining uh, it. Ah, yes. In the doctor. The point sort is, not that you understand. What is going to happen to you? Hmm? Don't tell everybody about the ship now. Ship? Yes. It's not. Look, I love your school. I love England in the 20th century. The last five months have been the happiest of my life. But you are one of us. You look like us. You sound like us. I was born in another time, another world. Now, look here, Susan, you... Oh, come on, Barbara. Let's get out of here. It's no use. You can't get out. He won't let you go. <laughs> the thing about the There's console... The over there. <clears throat> I saw it. ...looks very much like Which the thing that was about the console... Which is it? ...in Matt Smith's first... Which control plays the door? You still think it's all an illusion? I know that free movement in time and space is a scientific dream I don't expect to find solved in a junkyard. <laughs> your arrogance is nearly as great as your ignorance. Will you open the door? <laughs> open the door! <laughs> Susan, will I, you help us? I mustn't. Very well, then. I'll have to risk it myself. I can't stop you. I don't touch it! It's life! <laughs> Ian, what on earth do you think you're doing? Grandfather, let them go now, please. And by tomorrow, we should be a public spectacle, a subject for it's news and... It's interesting thing, they Susan. They won't anything. It's My like dear child, of course they will. She's Which actually partly afraid of the doctor. They're bound to make some doctor. sort of a complaint to the authorities, or at the very least, talk to their friends. If I do let them go, Susan, you realise, of course, we must go too. No, Grandfather, There's we've had no all this... There's no alternative, child. I want to stay. Look, they're both kind people. Why won't you trust them? All you've got to do is often to promise to keep our secret and... It's out of the question. I won't go, Grandfather. I won't leave the 20th century. I, I'd rather leave the TARDIS than you. Now you're being sentimental and childish. No, I mean it. Very well. Then you must go with them. I'll open the door. Are you coming, Susan? Oh, no, Grandfather, no! Let me go. No! Get back to the ship, child. Hold it. Hold it. sending the effects as well, you know, in general. Okay, so that was An Unearthly Child, Episode 1. Um, when you get this on YouTube, uh, you'll be able to see the entire story over on Patreon. 
I'm really looking forward to continuing to watch these classic Who episodes. Uh, I won't be watching Reconstruction episodes. If there's um, animated ones, I may watch them. It all depends. I'll have to see what happens. So that is that. See you next time. Bye.